girl. Come on. In here. What you're seeing there, a new method being developed to track an iconic Texas reptile that's been in decline. Conservationists are working to bring back the horned lizard with the help of dogs. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing joins us from the center where the new generation is being bred. In the wild, this male horned lizard will be a lot more scared of me, but here in captivity, he's grown accustomed to these blue gloves. He is an adult, and he's going to give rise to a generation that San Antonio Zoo hopes to release back into the wild. This is dinner time. Hungry? Crickets are on the menu. You're always hungry. This is an organized operation to bring back the Texas horned lizard, the horny toad, a species that once seemed to be an endless supply. Now it's much harder to find one. A challenge, too, to breed a new population. San Antonio Zoo is feeding parents. Those parents are growing strong and breeding babies. And their goal is to jumpstart the population. They are still out there in places, but we want to fill in the gaps. This is Becky Musher Hodges, manager for the Center of Conservation and Research. They're just such an awesome South Texas icon, or Texas icon in general. They are the Texas state reptile, so, and people miss them. Musher Hodges says the horny toad's decline has a lot to do with how much habitat they're losing. People are taking more lands. Horned lizards eat harvester ants. But fire ants, on the other hand, accidentally introduced by people, are attacking them. And not to mention their natural predators. When you're a snack-sized lizard, everything is after you. Their goal is to release clutches of two or 300 lizards at a time. On a normal day, a horned lizard could eat 100 or more of these harvester ants. And the goal is to release the juveniles at a size where they can begin eating these right away. But to know if all this hard work is paying off, they have to find the horned lizards in the wild once they release them. That's where a dog, like Nika, is coming in. Nika is a Labrador, trained to detect oil underground. Her handler, Paul Bunker, blows a whistle, directing her to turn, to stop, or to come back. She's looking for a target scent, because to her, this is a game. She's after a ball. They have a high drive for toys or rewards. They're gonna want to work like we call it work but it's all fun to them and look for that target odor to actually get their reward bunkers trained dogs for decades even looking for landmines with the british military after the war in the balkans he says this method called positive reinforcement will help him train a dog that'll search for the horned lizard the idea is obviously that we want to utilize the dog to save a lot of time a lot of manpower a lot of effort bunker is working with the zoo to train dogs to identify habitat where the horned lizard will be reintroduced and track their survival after they're released. They have a much better nose and they'll be able to determine if they're there or not because a lot of times these guys don't want to be seen. If they are being seen more frequently in the valley, the zoo plans to release them in South Texas with the hopes they'll merge with existing populations. There's big gaps between up here in San Antonio and down in the valley where there are nice expanses of untouched habitat. These parents are breeding a new generation that new generation is growing stronger and bigger to soon go back out to their home range. And the zoo already has several juveniles and they are incubating more eggs as breeding season continues. And the goal again is to release several hundred when they're ready. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News, San Antonio.